In this video, we are going to learn something very interesting. If I am going to ask you, open a task manager and I will tell you, this is the process if you see if it is running in your task manager. Then I will ask you, can you delete that process or can you kill process using batch script, right? So batch script kill process is something we are going to learn. So let's move on to our computer and get started. Before we start writing the command in the batch script for the batch script kill process, there is an important command that you have to know that is known as task list. Okay, if you hit on enter, what would happen? This entire task list is going to show me what are the current processes that are running in my computer. What's it going to show me? It's going to show me what are the all the processes that are running on my computer is going to show me. So here there are a couple of important things that you should know. The terms. The first term is image name. Image name is nothing but your process name like notepad.exe or any application that you might have opened, their exe processes are running. So that is known as image name. Remember, you will not call it as process name, rather you will call it as image name. And there is something called PID, stands for process ID. It will have a IDT, ID number that will be dynamically assigned. Okay, every time it might change. Now there is something called session name. Here people should have a good understanding. What is it? There is something called 0 and there is something called 1. So what is the meaning? Let's say I am going to start my computer. If I start my computer, there are two things has to work. One is there are so many things has to work but again two important things that is your mouse has to work and your keyboard has to work otherwise you cannot log in right. So before the user even log in, all these services has to run in the background. So anything that runs in the background before the user could log in those will be termed as session 0 or also known as windows session. After the user logs in, he will open notepad.exe, he will open excel, he will open chrome, right? anything he would open. Those things will be running in the user session. So user has logged in and in, in his session it is running. So those kind of applications or services will have something called one. I remember that. Okay. So these are the important things you should know before we kill a process. Okay. Now let's look at something important. Okay. So if I have to kill a process, there is a command called task kill. What is that? Task kill. So task kill has got different different parameters. So one of the parameter I just spoke is the image name. What is it? Image name. So it will be the parameter is it will be written as im. Okay, so let's see this how to utilize it. First of all, let's write the command echo of and then I will change the color to let's say green. So all this I have taught in the previous video. I hope you are enjoying all those new commands. So color A, it will change the color to green in color and then we will give it a title. What is the title here? Batch script kill process, let's say. Okay, any title you want to give. Now the very first thing I will use is task kill task kill and I am going to use the parameter called image name. What is the image name? Notepad.exe. Okay, whatever that application, just check in your task manager, whichever you would like to kill and you can go to that specific exe, right? For example, uh, Notepad++. plus plus plus. So, I will go to um, details. Okay, go to details. Then that shows you the exact uh, process. Okay, so if you see notepad plus plus dot exe is the process name. Similarly, you can find it. So here we are will be concerning on notepad, the simple application. Okay, so for that, all I will write notepad dot exe and I'm done and let me pause it. Okay, save this, go to the batch script folder and here I have this notepad open. I'm going to run it. So if I run it, what, what exactly it does? If you see, it says sent a termination signal to the process notepad.exe with PID 12664 and it has closed it. So, set, okay. so the notepad got closed now. Now let's say the notepad is already closed and I want to run it. So there is no notepad.exe is running and I am going to run the script. So what would happen? In that case it will simply tell you the process notepad.exe not found. That means it is not running. Clear? Okay. So this much you have understood. Now there are a couple of more things. So sometimes why exactly you want to kill? Probably you would like to reopen the application once again, right? Something it got frozen and you would like to reopen. Many times this kill process may not work directly. Okay. So what I will do? I will use another parameter called force close. For that I will write F. So all this you can write in uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter. So this parameter I will show you this parameter slash F. Okay. 
if you see slash f for the uh, task kill okay task kill and slash f stands for specifies to forcefully terminate the process so for that i'll be simply writing slash f this much is clear okay what is i am and what is f i am means what image name f means force close so this way it is going to force close so if i run this now let me uh, keep the notepad open and uh, i'm going to run it and meanwhile i'll start using the notepad see it, it force close the application getting it so this much you have understood now you would like to reopen the application the application has been killed using the bash script you have killed the application process now you would like to reopen i am going to teach you so many important things look at it the next thing that we have learned task list right which is going to show me the entire list of processes i'll use a pipe symbol so what is a pipe symbol here the pipe symbol is nothing but is going to pass the output of that command the previous command to the next command so here the output will have what all the processes and i'm going to pass this output to the next command called find str so you must have seen my previous video right where i showed you how how the hackers will find some sensitive data using this command find str okay if not please do watch that that's a very interesting topic now find str so this is going to get the input from the task list so that's why i'm using a pipe symbol remember that's why i'm using a pipe symbol now here i will see look if there are, there is still any notepad.exe still running or not okay task list look if something is still running or not okay that is the meaning now if it is not running so this double pipe means if it is not true if the previous thing throws an error right if it is not true then it is going to so double pipe is used for that getting it so pipe is to pass the input output of the previous command to the next command where the double pipe will be used it's like if not if not found right if not found then do this then if not found because i have completely closed it using the force right if it is not found then what you do you start notepad.exe pretty simple okay let me save it okay let me save it and quickly run the script okay so now notepad is actually closed okay if not i let me open and close it so it's all closed so let me or let's keep it open okay let's keep it open the moment i will run this what would happen the notepad got closed okay and then it has opened the notepad for me did you see it has happened so quickly okay for example let me write something in here let me run it again so it will happen so quickly see it has closed and reopened new one okay a fresh uh, start has happened so this is quite interesting this could be used in many situation in the company where you have to really find something is not responding you like to force close it and then reopen it once again so in those situations you will be using this technique okay so your script is ready here you could take a note of this and try it on your computer so thank you guys let's move on to our next topic and once you complete any topic please do type that you have completed simply say completed in the comment section for all the videos that you are watching on my channel thank you guys let's move on to our next topic